hello students as you all know that in my last video we were learning about objectives of business and we were done with economic objectives and social objectives so today in this video we will learn about human objectives of business so human objectives refers to the objectives aimed at the well being as well as fulfillment of expectation of employees as also of people who are disabled handicapped and deprived of proper education and training so students in any business it is not only the entrepreneur who works but there are three human factors involved in it one of them is enterprise the other one is employee and the third is customer so beside entrepreneur there are thousand of employees who work for the business or organization and similarly uh, without customer there is no existence of business therefore to be successful the satisfaction of all the three is must so security of investment and fair return on the investment then good working condition or job security or handsome salary with growth prospects for employees and smooth supply of products and service with reasonable rates are the function which must be compiled with for the success of business if all the sections are satisfied that business is above board and has succeeded in fulfilling the human objectives of business so some of the uh, common objectives of uh, human objectives are treating employees as human beings and partners in the business so that means treating employees with respect showing appreciation for their work and being an encourager like a uh, will create our desire in employees to also treat customer and clients well it makes employees want to come to work and to dread it so it inspires and motivates them to work harder produce more and become more engaged so our second point is developing and improving new skills and abilities among the employees that means employees as human human beings always want to grow we we human beings always want to grow we human beings always want to be success so therefore their growth employees growth uh, requires proper training as well as development so business can prosper if the people employed can improve their skills and develop their abilities and competencies in course of time so that it is important that business should arrange training and development program for its employees so our third point is creating developing and preserving a sense of commitment among the employees by their participation in management that means participation helps employees gain a wider view of the organization or business so through training development opportunities and information sharing employees can acquire the conceptual skill needed to become effective employees or manager or top executives so it is it also increase the um, commitment of the employees to the organization and the decision they make so our fourth point is ensuring job satisfaction by making it more interesting and challenging so uh, if you are satisfied with your work or job then only you can give your best and the job will be interesting for you okay so that uh, satisfied employees is not just a retained employee okay but an ambassador who work for brand internally and externally so he or she can dispel the apprehensions of others and can defend the company in various problems or forum 
so happy employees are more loyal to the company and its objectives they go the extra mile uh, to achieve goals and take pride in their jobs so their team and their achievements so our fifth point is ensuring adequate satisfactory wages salaries and other non economic amenities and benefits so a business should aims to satisfy the human wants and good and services are produced to meet human needs so if consumer or um, employees are satisfied with their wages good services they will give their best and if the customer is satisfied they will purchase them again so uh, otherwise they may go to for alternative business should produce those goods and services which satisfy the human wants or they should uh pay the satisfactory wages or salaries to their employees so that they can give their best for their work or or if they will satisfy with their wages and salaries they can give the proper and in, uh, intention in the work okay number 6 is ensuring consumer satisfaction in terms of fair treatment like courtesy understanding honesty then no adulteration and no black marketing etc no resulting uh, resulting to malpractice that means a business should always focus on the uh, fair treatment to their customer they should be loyal or they should be honest towards their business or works or towards their customer or employees if a customer or employees is satisfied can on the belief of the customer then only they can deal with their products and goods with the customer so a business should not indulge them, themselves in any malpractices or any uh, anti social activities they should be loyal they should be uh, honest towards their work they should not malpractice any uh, they should not indulge them in any malpractice or any fraud okay so our number 7th point is maintaining satisfied workforce with high morale so that means um uh while customer may not always be satisfied when you make business decision based on your ethics yes so in the long run a business may still earn their respect and loyalty but you need to instill your principles in both management and lower staff as defined by your mission statement and not fail prey to marketplace demands that tempt them to lower standard to bring fleeting success and number 8 point is motivating the employees continuously for higher efficiency motivation can facilitate a worker reaching his her personal goals and can facilitate the self development of an individual so once that worker meets some initial goals uh, they realize the clear link between effort and result which will uh, further motivate them, them to continue at a high level so improved employee efficiency and employees efficiency level is not only based on their abilities or qualifications for the company to get the very best result an employee needs to have a good balance between the ability to perform that task given and willingness to want to perform the task so this balance can lead to an increase of productivity and can improvement in efficiency hope you understood this topic so in my next video we will be learning about uh, role of profit in business thank you